Hello, and welcome to the Dairy Digest. I'm Dr. Jackie Borman. Today on the Purdue Dairy Digest, we will talk about why high Class III milk prices may not be reflected in milk checks that dairy farmers receive. If you've been following milk prices for the last 60 days, you have seen lows of $11 per hundredweight and highs of almost $23 per hundredweight for Class III milk price. Class three milk price is based on the components in milk used for cheese production, and the dairy industry can view this as a good sign of recovery for COVID-19 if class three milk prices are increasing. Most producers in the U.S. receive a blend price based on the utilization of milk within their federal milk marketing order for the four classes of milk multiplied by the price of each class of milk. Therefore, if class three is increasing, this should increase their milk price, even if their individual milk is not going for cheese production. However, milk pricing is rarely as simple as it seems. Two factors seem to be the main reasons that high class three milk prices are not resulting in higher milk prices received by dairy producers. The first is that milk plants are choosing to depool milk Milk used by Class I processors is required to be part of the federal milk marketing order pool, while milk going to other classes of milk, it is optional to pool milk. When there is a large discrepancy between any of the classes, the processors who make those products have an incentive to depool their milk. This means that not all products will share the benefit of higher milk prices, and potentially only those who ship to cheese plants would receive higher prices. Additionally, depooled milk does not need to adhere to federal milk marketing order minimum prices. So at the end of the day, when milk is depooled, dairy producers usually receive lower prices because there's no incentive for a processor to pay a higher price. They will then depool when it is cost effective. The second factor that is impacting the price that producers will receive for June and July milk and maybe beyond is a negative producer price differential. Normally, class one fluid milk is the class that receives the highest price. To balance this with the other classes, a positive producer price differential is used and that will be added on to milk checks that farmers receive. Now the price uh, for the different classes of milk are far from normal. The class one price is far below class three. This means that the producer price differential is now negative and will likely be historically negative with estimates of negative five to seven dollars per hundred weight and that would be subtracted from milk checks. These two factors, depooling of milk and negative producer price differentials will likely frustrate dairy farmers in the coming months as they observe very high class three prices without seeing it in their milk checks. Usually we would see high prices in one class to indicate positive movement for all of dairy. However, there are some unique factors that mean that classes are not well aligned that may not truly represent higher prices for all producers. If you are a subscriber to the podcast, can you do us a favor and rate us in iTunes? If you're not a subscriber, become one today, and you can listen to this podcast at your own time. Thank you.